Brian Weiss here with Golf Wisconsin, and I'm golfing along the Wisconsin Golf Trail. And where am I today? I'm in Reedsburg, about a driver nine iron just outside of Wisconsin Dells at Reedsburg Country Club. And behind us, beautiful patio. But more importantly, I'm joined with Luke Whitaker, the general manager, and he's got some pretty exciting news uh, on the stay and play package front in Wisconsin. Yeah, we're uh, pretty fortunate we just added, uh, we didn't just add, but coming in across the street from us, uh, brand new Holiday Inn, and we're working with them to team up on discounts for not just the golf, but the rooms as well, multiple night stays. Uh, right now, we started at a introductory, really basic level of a 15% off discount on our rack rates and our, um, on their rooms as well. And so um, it's the best way to get here and play and stay for a couple of days, play us or pop around and play some other courses in the Dells as well. We've got a lot of great courses here. Sure. You mentioned, uh, well, I mentioned we're a driver nine iron away from the Dells, uh, but let's put it in perspective. We're about 15 minutes from uh, the other courses around the area. Correct. Yeah. About 15 minutes. Wild Rock, Trappers Turn, some of the other ones. Um, Christmas Mountain is right down the street from us and it's an easy drive right off the interstate or wherever you're coming from. Anywhere in the Wisconsin Dells, you can get here pretty quick. Sure. And you mentioned in the past you were kind of an overflow for golfers to kind of come in here if they're, they're the courses in Wisconsin Dells were uh, busy. But I almost think that, of this as the destination. And you kind of mentioned, hey, this is a good old boy uh, a country club built in the uh, 20s. Why Reedsburg? Why should golfers add this to their bucket list? Right. So, you, I mean, you mentioned we've been around for about 100 years. Uh, it's actually our centennial this year in 1924. Uh, the course itself has grown well and matured well. Uh, it adds challenge to uh, any golfer, and it can be as scorable as you want to at every level. Um, we've got great, we've got four sets of tees, uh, great playability, huge greens, which is uh, a little bit different than what you see at a lot of courses our age. And um, they're fast, they're true, and that's actually where our reputation lies, was with a lot of fast greens uh, and a very playable course. And whether you're a senior, a lady, um, a, you know, a tip top uh, back tee player, everybody can have some challenge, but they can also find some opportunities to score and it's enjoyable. Sure. Uh, as far as a hole to look forward to or a signature hole or a hole that uh, visitors and uh, the uh, locals talk about the most? I would say Alligator Alley, uh, number 14. That one's, uh, it's a, a long par four that's got um, a creek at the end of the runway. So most of the time, uh, uh, top players hitting an iron into it, or uh, you know, even from the ladies tees, they're driving up to it, right to, to the front of the creek. But then it's a long iron shot in, which is one of those things, as you look at it, it doesn't look that bad. But then once you get up there, you see how narrow it is coming into the green. It's a nice, deep, long green uh, with a couple bunkers on either side of it. So it's one of those that um, it can ruin around if you're not paying attention to what you're doing. It's all about course or, or whole placement on that one. And uh, yeah, a lot of people talk about that one when they come into the bar afterwards. So Luke, we have traveling golfers who are going to be watching this and you're going to, you just mentioned Alligator Alley. Okay. There's no alligators in Wisconsin. Right. Why do we call it Alligator Alley? Well, it's one side of it's completely covered with some swampy area okay. and it's the one that they, no matter where you, where you hit it, it can snap up and get you. <laughs> so, you know, what they keep your hands away from it, right? An alligator like that. If there's a couple areas in that course or in that hole where if you get up in there, you're going to have some trouble making a second shot. Sure. Tips on scoring um, a good round out here. How would you uh, maybe manage to grab a couple birdies par? Some tips on playing the course. So um, you don't necessarily have to be long. To think that you have to pull out a driver on every hole is not realistic. Um, course management's a big one and making some wise decisions. Yes, our greens are pretty big, so you have the opportunity um, to really lay up and make some strategic placements with your wedges. Um, and also, whenever you look at our pin positions, you want to try and hug it up as best you can because our greens are large. So, I mean, you could end up with some 20, 30, 40-foot putts if you're not careful. Um, other than that, we have... Um, not that many bunkers out there, but there's plenty of trouble to find. So just let's stay at least in the first cut and you won't have any issues. Okay. Sounds good. I, I smell food behind us. Okay. okay. 1924, your centennial year, uh, is also the name of the restaurant. Uh, any must treat or eat that you need to have when you come? Um, so one of the things that we did, uh, we put on our menu this year, uh, it's a sirloin special and it's a great one. It's a five ounce sirloin. It comes with your choice of potatoes and our veg, veg de jour vegetable of the day. Uh, and it's been one of the most popular items since we've tossed it on the menu. It's 1999. Uh, it's right around that 1924 mark. Everybody seems to love that. Uh, and we do a great job with steaks, fish fry, prime rib, uh, 
at any of your standard bar food. We do that very well. Your cheese curds, you know, your typical Wisconsin's favorites, you'll find them here. Um, but you can also come in and grab a light snack, a turn hot dog, a chicken salad sandwich. Um, all those things we have on the menu. It's a very broad menu, uh, but we do all of it very well. Sure. So if you're a traveling golfer and you want to stay away from the hustle and bustle of Wisconsin Dells, right. stay right across the street at the Holiday Inn and Express, uh, play a amazing uh, old school uh, country club and kind of be near the amenities. How far are we away from the casino? Casino is about 15 minutes down the road, straight shot, um, down 33 here. And uh, we see a lot of guys that stay there and they'll use that as their as their hub and then go out to some of the other Dells courses as well. Sure. Um, it's one of the ones probably the latest bar in town, right? So, I mean, they're open and you've got uh, the gaming and the hotel there as well. So it's sure. an opportunity to do that if you want. Sure. So uh, for those that might be locals that kind of live in the Wisconsin Dells, Reedsburg area, let's talk a little bit about membership. Mm -hmm. um, why, uh, you know, why join uh, Reedsburg? So we have one of the uh, most value packed memberships uh, of any of the courses in the surrounding area. It's also very economically priced for what you get. Um, we have three stages of membership. We have social, uh, we have a social swing, which but basically the social is just dining. We also include three social events for our members, our New Year's Eve party, our blast event, which is our 4th of July event. We do fireworks right over the first tee. Uh, we usually have about 300 people here. It's an awesome night for family. And then we have our member mixer at the beginning of the season, which is just a, a we're coming back to play some golf and get together and, and have some camaraderie. Um, you get that with your social membership. Um, the social swing is that plus 10, 15, 20 rounds of golf based on the level that you pick, dual family, et cetera. And then you've got your full membership, which also gets three of our golf events included in the price of that. All of our members get some level of uh, rebating back to them on all the food and beverage that they spend, five to 10%. Um, you get a tremendous amount of reciprocals. You get unlimited cart range and rounds uh, with that full membership. And it's one of those things that um, like I, you know, I've said to many people, nobody's going to do it better than we do when it comes to membership. And that's part of the reason why our memberships doubled over the last seven years. Wow. That, uh, that, that's incredible. So, uh, lastly, anything else that I might've missed? I know there was some event space, uh, that I walked past uh, to get to your office, but, mm -hmm. uh. Uh, what is that used for and how maybe can traveling golfers utilize that as well? Sure. Um, so we, we have a really nice event space. It, it caps out at about 250 for the, the whole room itself. We can do up to 300 uh, to 350 if the whole clubhouse is rented, which we do offer that option for things like wedding receptions or um, client appreciation dinners. We do a big one for Compeer, 400 people, 450 people come through the door that night. So um, the banquet space is very versatile. We have it can break off into a couple smaller rooms. We have technology for business meetings, um, projection screens, house sound systems, microphones, everything like that. It's all included here. For those cruises, those guys that are out there with 40, 60 guys, we've got the banquet space. They can come through and hit a quick buffet and then get back out there for their second 18 or nine or whatever it may be. So really That's applicable. Great. Hey, we have food. We have banquet facility. We're close to a casino right across the street from a hotel. This is uh, an ideal location, a great destination just outside of Wisconsin Dells. You need to add Reedsburg Country Club to your bucket list. And for more information, where can they find? ReedsburgCountryClub.com has everything um, from the golf to membership menus, everything that you could uh, want to know about Reedsburg Country Club, the history, the management, all the, all the information's there. But we're also on social media, Go to um, 1924 Bar and Grill for the restaurant and then Reedsburg Country Club uh, page as well. Facebook, Instagram, uh, we even have a Snapchat account. So we're out there in, in every way you can be. Okay, wonderful. We'll put all those links in the description and we look forward to seeing you on the first tee.